gasp credits at this point. Not surprised. That's obviously that was obviously a little bit of an epilogue talking about the little pop-ups of what would go on. Um, so my thoughts. Uh, obviously, I've kind of ranted about them a little bit. Side quests. I think in a way, my problem with this game is that it's an open world. Is it's not? Is it's half? Is it has the downside of an open world game of wanting to fill everything, of having to kind of having to fill everything because there's no point in having all this empty space with quests. But at the same time, it also has. Uh, come on, brain. It also has uh, kind of the downside of not being an open world game, and the fact you've got to jump around in this big open world, that big map, world map, and choose where you're going. So it kind of wanted to kind of almost be both, probably because it was stylist stylistically similar to Origins and Two, while not having that. So you end up with like the shards, like trying to f put things all over the place, and. I think, like, there's one in Origins where if you find, like, four books throughout the world, um, and get this, uh, it's like, and you can, like, do a quest which leads on to fighting something, and that makes sense, and that's kind of fair enough. I mean, if you want to keep, have things be hidden, have things be hidden, fair enough. But when you make it a huge number of things, you're not hiding things, it's just, you, you've got to get all these different things, and it's just, uh so that, that was kind of my big down on, on side quests. Um, as with other Dragon Age games, there's a whole host of side quests that I haven't touched. Um, and I think, like, this has been, I think this is my longest, uh, I want to say my longest Let's Play. It depends how you count things with Origins. Um, but it, it's kind of, there's so much stuff in here. Uh... And it, it's just, I haven't covered it all. And it's been a really, and it's still been a really long Let's, pl let's Play. Um, so there is that kind of frustration with it. Um, especially, especially with the shards then. You know, I, I don't want to spend more time running around going and digging and grabbing the things. Because um, I don't think I'd actually have the, t I don't think I actually have the time or inclination or, or desire to go and grab them. Um, because of that. So uh, here's all, all the various people. Um, trying to see if I know Freddy. Oh, he was. Uh, people mentioned that he was Vegas uh, in Mass Effect 2. Any other names that. Kate Mulgrew, yeah, Claudia Black, yeah, yeah. Oh, look, Gaines in this. Oh, okay, so he must be one of the um, wardens you can get instead of Stroud if, if you make him join. Um. Uh, and and too, these are going fast, slightly too fast for me to be able to see. Um, so there's all kinds of different things with that. Um, I think that was an issue with it. And they probably shouldn't have made it as big as they did. Um, with the world. I think it probably would have been better. And I think I did make a reference to this. Is instead of having all these different world kind of areas, have like different areas. So you start in the hinterlands. You do some stuff in the hinterlands. Maybe you can go off to Valroyo and do some stuff. But the hinterlands is kind of your early hub, and actually is. And there is a main quest there and a few side quests that kind of come off from that. Basically, I'm saying this should have been a slightly bigger Origins. And I think I think that's what people wanted from 2, is they wanted more of Origins. Um, and that's not what they got. 2 was, was different. Uh, it was worse than Origins. I'll put my hand up. To, uh, I think that's... It, it's still it's it's a good game, but it's a step down from Origins. Inquisition, I think, is probably I think is probably in between, in my view. Um, just kind of a gut feeling right now. Uh, it's probably I'd probably put it in between them. Uh, but and I, I think I think the reason why it's not that is because it, it's if you just kind of repeated the style of Origins. Where you have here is this w one kind of main quest area that you go to, and you go here and you go you work through the main quest in that area and you do the side quests off it, because you could have put, I think I mentioned it like so the first quest, um, you can have two major towers in in the hinterlands, the Templars and the Magi, and 
that can be which way you go. Who are you going to side with? Are you going to side with the Templars or the Mage, or, or do the Mage quest or the Templar quest in the Hinterlands? And you have that be in the Hinterlands. What was next? Uh, Haven Falls. Then was that? Was that? I'm wondering if that's then you get that's then the stuff in Valerio. You could then you could actually make Valerio slightly bigger. Um, possibly, um, kind of expand Valerio a bit. Maybe do come some of the outskirts. I'm trying to think what areas you've got in this. You could that you could attach that to. Uh, exalted Plains, maybe have some of the Exalted Plains um, section, and then Valerio's right there. No, because I don't think they'd be fighting outside the capital that much. So maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, I don't know. But you could have like some stuff trying to get in, so a little bit of a main quest to get into Val Royo. Uh, then you receive the invitation to the to the ball, you go to the ball, maybe a few other side things going off. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, so you get in there, for, you get in there, do, the, do the, that main quest. Uh, after that, was it? It was the Grey Wardens, I think. So you could then go off and do. You could then have the Grey Wardens in the Western de Western Approach, not Western Desert. We're well, not Monty and Car well, or Rommel. I don't know. And Corifius isn't the other one. Montifius. Um. Right. Uh, so you're in the Western Approach. That then links to the main quest in adamant and you deal with that you've got uh then you then it's the elven ruins you could put that in the emerald graves and finally you've got this weird one where you go back to haven and it's just a little kind of end thing i was kind of expecting that to be a bit longer i thought maybe we'd be fighting our way up to corypheus and then doing it obviously not uh in that final fight and I, and I, that final boss fight did feel a little yeah, I mean it's a final boss fight, and I didn't die. I mean that's a terrible boss fight. I should die horribly. Disappointed. <laughs> um. Oh, where was I going? So yeah, I think it was just yeah. I I Origins, in my view, is the best of these three um, Dragon Age games that they've done. Um, of of the three Dra Origins, two and Inquisition. Uh, is this looping? Fairly sure we've already seen this. Is this is this looping? I it, uh, they don't normally loop, so I'm gonna just assume it's not. And then, if I see like the cast appear appear again, I might just go, okay, we'll escape. Um. So yeah, I think this is the second best out of the three. Um. Which is weird because normally. The, the the best one is the second one, the second one is the first one, and the third one is the third one. Whereas in, in Dragon Age, I think the first one is the first one, the second one is the third one, and the third one is the third one. No, the third one is the second one. I, I'm, I'm Right! Uh, as I normally do in Dragon Age games, at the end, um, let's think about the companions we had. So we've got three... So there's three mages... Uh, three rogues and uh, three warriors. I do quite like that. It does mean it make it kind of easier to remember how many people you've got. I don't think they did that in two, and I'm fairly sure they didn't do that in Origins. Um, so, for the mages, you had uh, Solus. Okay, we're coming up to copyright, so this is coming in the end. Uh, so you had Solus. Um, I... I kind of like Solus's character. I mean, Alec didn't get on with him, and he disapproved of a lot of things that um, that we did. But I can see, I can see why Solus and Alec would agree on some things, and but still really not like each other, just because of that kind of overlap um, of of kind of difference of just kind of those differences and that kind of personality clash um, with those things. Um, and yet, kind of Dorian, his kind of and that connection, they seem to have gotten on quite well. I'm not entirely sure why. I assume we'll be popped into just Skyhold. Oh, this isn't Skyhold. 
I want to talk about characters. Right, quickly. Quickly, let's finish the mages. So Dorian, um, he kind of had his... his um, okay, what are we doing? I don't know. Uh, but... D uh, hell. I knew you would come. <laughs> Hello. You should not have given your orb to Corypheus, Red Wolf. I was too weak to unlock it after my slumber. What? The failure was mine. I should pay the price. But the people... They need me. I am so sorry. I am sorry as well. Old friend. Uh... What is going on? Right, I take it back. Sardis is clearly evil. <laughs> well, it's a dread wolf, so that's... Oh, one of the elven elven gods is... Which makes sense with, with Mithal saying, Oh, his old friend. So Solus is one of the elven gods. Huh. Okay. That's right. <clears throat> okay. I, I hope that's that's in one of the DLC bits. I'm really confused. Right, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna finish tonight my little diatribe and then we'll go off and talk to people. Uh so Dorian, yeah, I quite like Dorian. Um I like the idea of in a way, I think I would have liked to have seen him be a bit more, have a bit more of the spotlight and contrast him with Corypheus. Um, I think maybe that would have been a good idea. Um, just because I think that's kind of his story is he, or could have been, maybe should have been, um, comparing himself to Corypheus and saying, we're not all like that, not all Devinta are like that. Uh, Vivienne, kind of standard, kind of noble person, like, kind of nobility, kind of like, yes, do everything else, yes, manipulative, political. I did like her, um, I did although like her, I liked her character, I did think it seemed to work uh, for her position and what she's done, kind of, oh yes, yes, I don't want to be the, uh, the, the divine, but I mean, who, who, yes, Liliana, well, no, no, not really, but you kind of, Cassandra seems to fit it, but she's not particularly gracious and elegant, I mean, not like, I mean, I'm quite gracious and elegant and know my stuff, but no, 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 I couldn't possibly, kind of thing, mm. um, but yeah, I, I, I did like, I think I liked a lot of these guys, Rogue, she had Cole, oh, poor, poor Cole, I, Cole was brilliant, uh, I really like him because he's very he's obviously being this kind of not quite a spirit, not quite a human thing. He he's very different to everyone else. He, he's very he's a very different character. I don't think we've had anyone quite like that. I don't think we've had anyone like Vivienne before. Dorian's quite similar to Isabella, and Grumpy Grumpy Solus. Uh, well, grumpy, grumpy Fenris, really, in in some senses. Um, Varric, 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 Varric's brilliant. Varric's brilliant. I mean, if I could take a character from from, if I could take him and put him in Origins, he'd be the perfect companion to have been in all the games. I think he he he's a really strong character for that. And I think actually it would have been really interesting if he'd been in Origins to a point. Ended up somehow in two, meeting up with Hawk, and then Origins is also him telling the story to Cassandra, kind of trying to figure out how things built up. But I don't think you could actually have a have a character from Origins appear in two that easily, um, due to the kind of the way the time frame fits together um although actually i mean you work for the people f for the smugglers or the mercenaries for a year so it could be that you know that's when he, he he finishes his stuff in 
in um, Ferelden in the Heads Office. That could have worked, actually, thinking about it. And then Sarah, who, so I really liked Sarah. Um, she's really weird in that she, she probably is the anti Solus in that Solus, as a, as a character, doesn't kind of Solus fit kind of would fit with Alec, but they they then they don't get on that well. Whereas if you looked at Sarah uh, and just took Sarah in uh, kind of as and Alec as individuals, you'd probably think they wouldn't necessarily fit together and be good friends. But I think Sarah may have been one of the first kind of friendships that really kind of solidified, um, as in quest lines, um, out of it. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, she was quite good. I like the fact that she's kind of in the Red Jenny organization, which I think is kind of. I don't think that was actually in Dragon Age Two, but it was. It was. It was in Origins, and I think in Awakening quite a bit, just kind of mentioned here and there. And I, I do like that that little tiny wee plot point is coming out again and again. Speaking of plot points, and I didn't mention this, I was. I was, and I was thinking about it. it was those little epilogues, like almost all of them had like a little bit of. Ooh, maybe there's a there's part of a game we could come out of here and. Um, if Bioware is smart, there was a pause for people to type comments. Big if. Um, sometimes it really feels like that. But if they're smart, they can kind of wait and see, like, how are people responding to each of these comments, each of these little plot hooks we could use. Um, but there's loads of different ones they could go off on. There's the political stuff with Selene. There's the Grey Wardens shenanigans. That you've kind of already done Grey Wardens in Origin, so maybe not. Um, can't remember the other ones. Um, <laughs> um, there are a few other ones as well that they could have used that spin off from these decisions. But the the issue with that though is, are you going to base a game on one bit of canon? I don't think they'll do that. So it might be that uh, there's a major. It has a major impact in the next game, but it can't be too major. All right, warriors. So, um. Iron Bull, I kind of liked. I, I kind of like Iron Bull. Again, he's kind of like Vega. Actually, his, his voice is it's the same voice. It's the same voice actor, but he's kind of this very. He comes across less intelligent than he is, um, and he kind of. But he he has his thing. I didn't use him that much because I'm not a fan of two-handed weapons, so I don't normally use people who use them. Um, even though I was the sword and board guy, I normally had another sword and board, which was normally Cassandra. Um, so I think it would have been kind of interesting to maybe see... A, it'd be interesting to see a playthrough that um, kind of focuses on him a lot more. Uh, I might go and look and see if there's one. Um, although that's like a huge thing. It might just be... It might kind of have different comments. I don't know. Uh, Blackwall. I liked his kind of... His redemption side quest that was probably called something like redemption that's normally how they work uh i like that i like that it seemed to make sense like he wasn't oh he's a gray warden and he acts like a gray warden and all the things that affect a gray warden affect him in the way a gray warden should it was actually here are the here are the clues here are the clues that that it doesn't necessarily make a huge amount of sense he, he the gray wardening doesn't make a huge amount of sense um Oh, and here it is. He's not actually a Grey Warden. That's why it didn't make sense. Um, so I did like that. Um, I, and I, I think I didn't really use him either that much. And that's because of Cassandra. Because Cassandra, I think, is brilliant. Um, I'm really happy that we romanced her. Um, it's one. Of, ooh, hello. Uh, it's one thing I really like. I, I did like her, but I do like her, and I, I like the fact that she's. She's a deeper character than you might think at first glance, because at first glance you might just think that she's a very kind of oh we must rah, 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 very kind of hard, um, but kind of once you get past that mask, for lack of a better word, um, that uh, persona, um, to use the Greek, um, you you find out something more about her, and she kind of you see that she is she does have that sentimental softness to her. Which I, I really like that connection. Um, I really I really like it. Um, so yeah, I was glad to romance her. I don't know who I don't know who else I would have romanced. 
I mean, I, I kind of don't think I've flirted with that many other people. I think Sarah would be interesting to romance. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, loads of other... I, I don't know. There's loads of other people around, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, so all the characters... I, I really liked all of our companions um, that we had. Um... Solus was kind of frustrating. Oh, that was one thing that really confused me, is um, the, the well. The well of sorrows. He approved of me doing the thing he told me not to do. And everyone else just approved, even though they told me to do it. I, I don't know what happened there. I think that went wrong. But, like, this game's been out a while. you think they would have fixed it. So, I don't know. But, I mean, otherwise, really cool game.